my brother was more like the one that um that was successful, you know what I mean? And I was the one that fires, you know, went to the streets, you know what I mean? And um I started using drugs at the age of fifteen years old, you know what I mean? It's, you know, when you experience things when you're young, you know, it's drugs are everywhere, you know what I mean? And um, you know, when I got a taste of the street life and found out I can get fast money, that's when I had left home, you know what I mean? Basically I was living on the streets maybe uh maybe sixteen years old. In and out of the streets, in and out of jail, and stuff like that. You know, because when you are, uh, when you're involved with the street life, a lot of things come with it. You know, a lot of jails, um, you know, all kind of different situations happen in the streets. You know, there was a time, one time, um, I was running uh, downtown Boston one time. It was raining, and um, I was, I had nowhere to go. I was soaking wet. You know what I mean? And um, I had went to an abandoned building one time. You know what I mean? And I was just like, man, I was just ready to just give it up. You know what I mean? I was ready to like to just, you know, just end it, get a raisin and slice my vein or something, you know what I mean? But um, you know, I had a little knowledge of God, so I didn't I didn't do that, you know what I mean? And um when I was at that stage and point and I knew that I I can, you know, and even think about and even trying to commit suicide, that's when I was ready to like, you know, really something's going on here, you know what I mean? I don't you know, I'm not the type of individual that, you know, that just jumps off the bridge, you know what I mean? I'm an individual that been, you know, I've been through a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? And um, for me to go out and file suicide, it was, it, to me, it's a punk way. So I knew I didn't want to go out that way, so I knew I had to find some help. I knew what the problem was, you know, after probably um, I did a you know, couple more incarcerations that I had did, and I was like, man, why do I keep coming in and out of jail? You know what I mean? And um, I had to uh, come to the clue that it was the drugs, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, at the beginning, it was, you know, it was fun. But uh, unfortunately, the drug takes a toll on you, you know what I'm saying? After the years, you know, you keep keep using it. In and out of jails and um, homeless and, um, you know, it's, it's just not the life that I wanted to live, you know what I mean? I mean, I have a son, you know what I mean? I have a mother, you know what I mean? And uh, I have respect for, you know, myself as an individual, you know what I mean? And um, I knew I didn't want to live that life no more, you know what I mean? And um, so, you know, I started to, you know, really, like, look at what I was doing wrong, you know what I mean? And um, try to see if I can get some help to um, live my life a little better than what I was, how I was living, you know? And so what I did is, like, you know, me being a man, sometimes men don't like taking advice because we think, well, I think I knew everything, but unfortunately I didn't know nothing because I was laying in the bed right beside them in the shelter. You know what I'm saying? So I had to take suggestions from people um, that was in the shelter to see how I can um, help with, get help with this addiction and see how I can get, you know, help with um, finding housing. You know what I mean? And um, it's, not, it's not easy, but it doesn't have to be hard either. So, you know, once I got suggestions from different people, what's where to go, um, I went to a detox. Um, I went to a holding transition, so River Street, and then I went to a program called Project Soar in uh, North Quincy. I stayed there 18 months. And uh, due to the process of me going through all that, um, I, uh, the caseworker had suggested Homestar to me. Um, you know, at the time, I was like, man, I'm not going to get in an apartment, man. I'm freaking, you know what I mean? My record's off the hook. and um, But, uh, you know, Homestar is, is really gave me a shot. You know, Learning how to be responsible, uh, taking care of bills, and you know, it, there's not even enough word for me to say how grateful I am of Homestar. You know what I mean? I mean, there's some things that um, that you know I wouldn't change nothing about my past, about my life, because sometimes you have to experience things to get to where you're at. You know what I mean? And um, today I'm 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 so happy and grateful that you know what I mean. I can be a productive member of society today, and um, with the help of Homestar, give me a chance. Um, I received my first apartment after two years. When I went to Homestar, it was like freaking like open arms. I couldn't believe it. I was so nervous, you know what I mean? But the people were there were great. Um, the caseworkers was uh, suggesting uh, all kind of different things or suggesting things that I might have needed in the process of me, you know, trying to get housing. And um, they were they were great. They were like they wasn't too like difficult, you know what I mean? They explain one, two, three. It's what you gotta do. You know what I mean? And um, they made me feel like a, a part of a family. You know what I mean? Cause um, 
like I said, this is my first, I've never had a problem in my life. I'm 42 years old, you know what I mean? And host Homestar gave me the chance, and I'm, also, I'm, I'm just grateful to just to have, be a part of this and be a part of Homestar. So if, if you appreciate something, do you keep it, you longer, you know what I mean? And it's like, when I come in this door, or when I go downstairs and I come in the door and I see my last name on the mailbox, and I got the key to, to this apartment, my own key, you know what I mean? Nobody else is nobody else in here. Nobody else got a key. My own key. Man, it's unbelievable, man. 